Hi guys, today we are going to be talking about fall palette and who doesn't like fall? I know myself, I'm so ready for fall. I'm already in the fall mood. And so what better thing to talk about than eyeshadow fall palettes because who doesn't like to talk about palettes? I know I do. I like seeing other people talk about their palettes and I have a bunch of them right here. I wanted this video to be a little bit different in that I wanted all of these palettes to still be available because if I were to talk about all the palettes in my collection that were kind of fall colors, it would be a number one, it would be a lot. And also I do have quite a few that are, or that were limited edition, like the Worldly palette from P. Louise, pretty sure that one isn't available anymore. The Metropolis palette from Natasha Denona, pretty sure that one isn't available more. Like I would have a lot of palettes in here that would fit the theme of the video, but you wouldn't be able to get it. So I picked 10 palettes that are available now that I love, and I'm going to rank all of these because I think that could be kind of a fun twist on just doing a my favorite fall palettes video because I like watching ranking videos more than I like watching people just talk about their palettes. So that's what we're gonna do and I'm excited because this video is also sponsored by Ana Luisa. If you don't know who Ana Luisa is by now, you have not been on my channel for very long because I talk about them all the time. I love them as a brand. They are a sustainable jewelry brand who make all of their jewelry in very small batches. They have some amazing, amazing pieces. They start from $39 and they go up and there is basically something for everybody. I mean, they have such a large variety of, of things that I feel like no matter your aesthetic, you're gonna find something that you're going to love. And so I do have a code with them now and it will be on the screen. You can use that to save some money. I will also have a link down below in my description box. And I'll show you the pieces that they ended up sending me this time because I have a large collection now. And I love the fact that they do come out with new things, but not super often, but the things that they come out with just feel special. So I'm wearing some of the pieces today and I wanna show you the ones that I got because I feel like this time, these are some of my favorite pieces that I've picked up from Ana Luisa and I'm so excited to have them in my collection. Let's start off with these earrings. I've worn these earrings probably five times since I got them in the mail and I've had so many compliments on them like these are so so cute I love these I feel like they go with everything I wouldn't necessarily wear it with like the same necklace that I'm wearing today but I'm, I'm wearing the necklace because I wanted to show you two of the pieces together but these are incredible these do retail for $75 which I feel like is a pretty fair price for what you get I mean I've had some of my Ana Luisa pieces for probably three years now and they're still in top condition. Like I've never had any problems with like wear on them. They don't turn green or anything like that. And I love that I can confidently tell you that these pieces are really going to, you know, be really nice for a very long time. And I think that is great. Um, I wanna show you the necklace too, because this is so pretty. Like this, this makes me feel like Kate from Titanic, except that this necklace is like probably 10 times as small and the wrong color. But I just feel like there's something about like the heart and the stone in this that makes me think of Titanic. I used to love that movie. I still love that movie. Haven't watched it in a very long time. This, this is a beautiful necklace though. And I really like the closure of it. I love the fact that I can actually put this on from the front. And sometimes when I wear long nails, putting on a necklace, I'm sure you know the struggle with like the tiny little clips and trying to like get it behind. It's, it's a whole thing. <laughs> And I love the fact that this one I can just kind of clip in and I'm done. But the last thing I want to show you is actually on sale right now. And I've been eyeing these earrings. I'm not wearing them obviously because I have these one in, but I will show you a close up of me wearing them. These I've, I've been eyeing these for a long time and they finally went on sale and I think they're still $35. So they're half off. They have a lot of these uh, in different colors and stuff like that. And I think that they're just so cool. Like I, I wasn't sure if this was the kind of thing that I would wear a lot, which is why I've kind of held off on, on getting them, but I finally saw them again and I was like, you know what, it's time. Like, I think these are so cool and so fun and so playful without being like super big and like obnoxious. But I feel like if you wore them, people would look at them and be like, oh, that's different. Like, that's cool. And I think that they would still be versatile enough that they could go with a lot of different things that you're wearing. And I think I just think that they're awesome. So yeah, go ahead and check out Ana Luisa if you wanna get 10% off some beautiful, beautiful jewelry. And it's almost time to start thinking about Christmas, like thinking about Christmas presents, I'm just saying. <laughs> Maybe start adding some things to your wish list and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, thank you, Ana Luisa, for sponsoring this video. As always, I love working with you guys. I love your pieces, and I know that you guys are gonna love the pieces as well. We'll be linked down below if you wanna go check it out. Now, let's go ahead and rank these palettes. I'm a little bit nervous because a lot of these palettes are beautiful, and I do have one of these palettes on my eyes right now that I will show you when I get to it, but it's certainly not going to be ranked on the bottom. So let's just go ahead and start from the number 10 spot. 
So in the number 10 spot, I don't know if I'm going to be saying numbers the whole time because I'm probably going to lose track, but I'll have the number on the screen as we go along. But I'm going to start with this one. This is a very small palette and one that I've had for quite some time, but this one is from Dose of Colors and this is the Cutting Edge palette. If this isn't fall in a palette, I don't know what is. <laughs> I think this color story is so, so fun. I think that the, the grunginess of the greens and like that kind of terracotta orange together with the, the green and the gold, it just makes sense. Like this makes sense to me. It's a very nicely curated, very small, compact five pan palette that is really easy to use. And you, you're not gonna mess up with this. Like it's very, very tough to make a look that's not gonna look good with this. And I think it's a beautiful palette, but it did end up on the bottom because it is only a five pan palette. And for me, it's a little bit limiting, like maybe a little bit too limiting. And I feel like for the most part in my ranking videos, smaller palettes don't usually end up super high unless it's very special and I just absolutely love it. But I did want to mention it. So I am going to put it in the 10 spot. Oh, if you're wondering about my hair, I probably didn't mention it yet in this video, but I'm wearing one of the INH, which is the insert name here, ponytails. And I'm wearing the Alley in the shade copper. This is how they come packaged by the way. And this is how I store them. I know I've said, I'm going to make a video with these. I promise I'll make a video with these at some point. I'm just, I need to get through the makeup stuff that I have first because I have a lot still. So yeah, but let, let's just move on. In the number nine spot, this is a palette that I think this is still available. I haven't actually checked on their website, but I haven't seen anything about this getting discontinued. But this is a palette that I feel like I haven't played with as much as I would like. But this is the Lois Cosmetics Meet Me in the Underworld palette. And this is such a beautiful palette. Again, if this isn't fall, I don't know what is. I love the combinations of of colors in here. I think that they did a really good job like curating this. The formulas are really, really nice. Uh, the shimmers are not my favorites, which is one of the reasons why it ended up a little bit lower. They're really nice, but they're nothing to like write home about. You know what I mean? They're very pretty shimmers, but I wish they were just a little bit more amped up, but this is a beautiful palette still. Next up is a palette that maybe would some people consider this a fall palette? I feel like it could fall into like more of the neutral category as well, but this is the new Natasha Denona My Dream palette. Now, I really, really like this palette. The only reason why it ended up this low is because it is more neutral than most of the other palettes that I'll be talking about, but I think this, again, it's a beautiful, beautiful palette. The formulas are so nice. I'm currently working on a three look video with this. I don't know which will be up first. That one might be up first. I really don't know, but I've had a really good time with this palette and I have literally zero complaints. I think this is such a nice palette and I'm happy I bought it. I'm happy I have it in my collection. Again, is this like perfect for fall? Maybe it's not what you would think of when you hear fall palette, but I still think that this is very fall appropriate. And I think that wearing this with like some cozy jewel toned sweater is just gonna look really nice. You know, it's just gonna look really nice, really pretty. And you can go very deep and dramatic with this. I feel like this is good for like the holiday season and stuff like that too. And it's just a really, really beautiful palette that I wanted to talk about. The next palette, this one is most certainly a fall palette. And this again is a palette. I feel like I could say this with most of these palettes. I haven't had enough time to play with them. I have so much, so much makeup. I just have so much makeup. And I only have two eyes, which is so sad. Like I've toyed with the idea of getting one of those, you know, like eyes that you can kind of like do your makeup on, like the, um, like the silicone things. I don't know what it's made out of. I've seen some people like post about them on Instagram and stuff, and it looks kind of fun. <laughs> and it would maybe, maybe get some, maybe, maybe, what am I trying to say? It would make me maybe get some more use out of my palettes. That was a bad sentence, but I think you know where I'm getting at. <laughs> I'm toying with the idea of getting one just because I want to play more with the makeup I have and I don't have enough time and I don't have enough eyes and it makes me sad. <laughs> but this is a palette from Unearthly Cosmetics and this is the Leather and Lace palette. This again, such a beautiful color story. I really want to play more with this and I think that you'll see a theme with a lot of these palettes. A lot of these palettes have sort of browns and oranges together with greens and maybe like burgundies. But that is like literally fall though. Like how can I not include those palettes? You know what I mean? And I feel like this palette is just so nicely laid out. Like look how easy it is to do looks with this. You can do it by rows and it would just be the perfect looks. Or you can mix and match and the shimmers in here are really, really pretty. I like the fact that the shimmers are quite light. 
and I feel like all of these shimmers can kind of go with all of these mattes. I just think that they did a really good job with this palette and the, the, the formulas are amazing. The next palette is a palette that as soon as I knew I was going to make this video, I thought about this palette because this is also such a fall palette and this is the Heather Austin and Adept collab. Now you might look at this and like, you know, look at some of these shimmers and be like, maybe they're not that fall, but if you only look at the mattes, like the mattes are what makes this a fall palette. Like that is fall. If that isn't fall, again, it's what I'm saying. Like the matte selection in all of these palettes are pretty much this. <laughs> pretty much this. It's like a burgundy, a brown, and two greens. <laughs> Do I have a very narrow vision of what fall is? Maybe, but I also really like it. <laughs> this is such a beautiful palette. The only reason it didn't end up a little bit higher is that I feel like some of these shimmers are a little bit chunky and textured and they do crease on me more than some other formulas. Now don't get me wrong, I love how they look on the lids, but sometimes they're, it just depends. Like sometimes with these kind of squishy, squishy shadows, like don't get me wrong, I love those kind of formulas, but some tend to be a little bit more chunkier than others and I feel like these are a little on the thicker side. Not all of them, but some of them are a little bit thicker than others and those just don't wear the best on me, but they still look beautiful on the eyes. The next palette here would have honestly ended up higher if it wasn't for the fact that it's two palettes in one and one palette is not fall at all. <laughs> but I did want to mention it because I think that one side of this is just perfect. And this is the P. Louise Watch the Queen Conqueror palette. I think this palette is so beautiful. Now, here's what I mean. Like this is one side of, this is not fall. Like we, we don't talk about her, but this side, <laughs> this is so fall. Like this is so freaking beautiful. I love this palette. The quality of this is incredible. Like I love Pete Louise's formula. They are so nice and I wish that they would come out with more stuff and I wish they would come out with shit that isn't this bulky. Like that is my only issue with Pete Louise. I love them as a brand. I just, I wish that they would just tone it down a little bit. We don't, we don't need this. I don't think anybody would be upset if this had come out in like a smaller cardboard packaging that didn't include a freaking chessboard. I don't think any anybody would be complaining about that. <laughs> the next palette here is a palette that ended up very, very high in my last year's ranking the palettes that I tried in. No, it was ranking my best palettes of 2021. And this palette ended up super, super high. I think it was my number three. But this is the Lore palette from Unearthly Cosmetics. I don't know if this is currently in stock. You never know it Unearthly. Like they'll have some palettes in stock and then they'll go out of stock and then they'll come back. I, I don't know, but this is the Lore palette. I have mine from back when they used to be Alien Cosmetics, but here is what the color story looks like and I freaking love. It. There is nothing I don't like about this palette. Again, color story, same shit. <laughs> <laughs> Except that these shimmers are very, very special. Like this shimmer right here and this shimmer and this, this shimmer, like these are my favorite kind of shimmers. I just love them so much. And I need to pull this palette out again because it is so beautiful and I want to play with it. In the number three spot, this is a quite, this is a quite, this is quite a new to me palette. And I think this is so fun. Again, I wish I could play more with this <laughs> story of this video. I wish I could play more with my makeup. Anyway, this is a Druid palette from Fantasy Cosmetica. And this palette is also so fall, but this is more like a grungy fall. And I really like the inclusions of the kind of like tealy blue shades together with these greens and murky colors. I feel like this is like a unique fall palette and I'm here for it. Like, I think this is very special in my collection and I think the formulas are really nice. Again, the shimmers are just out of this world. I love this palette. I'm so happy. I, I know they're coming up with a new palette soon and I know they're sending it to me and I'll make a video with it and I'm so excited. In the number two spot, this is also a palette that ended up high in my, wait, did this come out this year or last year? I feel like I've just ranked this high in so many videos. Now I'm questioning everything. But anyway, this is from Ace Beauté and this is their Tropical Vibes palette. Now, again, perfect fall palette. So beautiful. I love the fact that they included a neon bright green in this. It's perfect. 
is it's seriously perfect and i love that this shimmer is in here as well because it's like that little surprise pop of color that you wouldn't really expect to be in here like if you take away that shade I, I know a lot of people have said that this feels out of place but honestly i think it like really adds something special to this palette it adds a little surprise element that if this hadn't been in here it kind of would have looked like other palettes that i feel like i've seen but because this color is in here it makes it different and I love this. There's nothing I don't love about this palette. I love the color story. I love the formulas. I love the theme. I love everything about it. Now, the number one palette, I when I sat down to rank these, I didn't exactly think that this would end up on top. I knew it would end up really, really high. And this is a very new to me palette that when I'm filming this video, it hasn't even launched yet. And it's what I'm wearing on my eyes today. And this is a new Nomad palette. Again, this took me by surprise a little bit because I wasn't sure where it would end up, but I kept looking at these and I'm like, I can't put this any lower. I just couldn't put it any lower down. I've had such a good time with this palette. And this is the Hudson Valley palette. Here's what it looks like. Again, it's just, it's just beautiful. I love the tones in this. I think there's something so special about these tones that I don't have in these other palettes. And even though there's only three shimmers in this, I feel like the standouts in, these palette, in this palette are the mattes. And I think that these two rows here are just so unique. There's so many things you could do with this. You could, you could go completely neutral. You could kind of do like a, a full orangey red look. You can do a green look. You can do a green and red look. Like there's so many things you can do with this palette. And the formulas are just great. Like it is really, really pretty. The shimmers are pretty basic, but they're so easy to work with. They glide on so smoothly. They pick up perfectly on a brush. They just look really nice and shiny and they just make sense with this color story. I think that for being only three shimmers, they picked a perfect three shimmers to go in here. And I love this palette. I think it is just so beautiful. Now, I would love to know what your favorite fall palettes are. Let me know down below in the comments and I will see if I have any of them because like I said, I have a lot of other palettes, but a lot of them are either discontinued, they were limited edition, or you know, maybe I just haven't reached for them in a while. And maybe this can uh, give me a little bit of a kick that I needed to pull out some older palettes again. But I love talking about the older palettes that I have in my collection because like I said, I don't always have time to use all of them, but I do love just revisiting them by looking at them and swatching them and talking about them because that makes me happy as well. Also, thank you so much to Anna Luisa for sponsoring this video. Go ahead and check them out if you're interested in some new jewelry. Of course, like I said, it will be linked down below in my description box as well as with my code. Uh, that's going to be it for today. If you want to see some more ranking videos, I will put my playlist up on the screen. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.